Good morning, everybody. It's three in the morning. It's Primitive Foundation. You're watching me on YouTube. This is, by the way, unrehearsed. I'm not trying to be that person. I'm just going to say whatever's on my mind. Today is not a normal video. Today's video is me interviewing myself. I've got a series of questions that I'm going to be answering. So stay tuned. Grab an apple. Get some water. We're about to get primitive here in a second. What inspired you to start your YouTube channel? What inspired me to start my YouTube channel? That's a good question. Honestly, I haven't had thought about it too much. But in all honesty, I wanted to first make a video about reviewing different types of energy drinks because I'm very obsessed with caffeine. As you've noticed, I drink energy drinks almost every day. Often I'll have four to five of them each day. But I first started off as a channel for reviewing different types of energy drinks. I deleted all those videos, decided to revamp this channel, rename it to Primitive Foundation. Because I believe we all have some kind of foundation that we start off of. Any kind of journey we decide to choose, there's always a beginning to it. There is always something that we step on to stand tall. So that's basically the answer. It was a revamp of an energy drink channel that I started. That one didn't go so well. I wasn't getting any views. And frankly, I lost interest pretty fast. I'm not saying that I would never pursue creating my own energy drink or anything like that, but that's something for other time we'll discuss. Number two, can you talk about a significant turning point in your life and how it shaped you? So that would be 2021. I got in a very, um, let's just put it this way, a deadly wreck. Um, I fell asleep behind the wheel. And um, I, could, I should have been dead. I won't get into details here, but I should have been dead. Because that was very stupid of me. I made a really dumb choice there. But it did help me realize I wasn't living my life to the fullest. Before that, I was engaged to, to my ex-fiance, and my mind was elsewhere. I was more focused on material things, collecting things. You know, I was smoking cigarettes, I was vaping, I was drinking. Not saying that I was hooked on those things, but I definitely was obsessive about those things. And um, I didn't care about having goals. I was against traveling. I was a whole different creature than I am now. I was super negative, did not see the light of the world. I thought the world was against me. I thought that there was nothing to it, that God hated me or that he didn't exist or whatever. But after that wreck, I realized I wasn't living my life to the fullest. I wasn't being myself. I wasn't writing, I wasn't getting involved. I was just, you know, lazy, in other words. Like, yeah, I was working as a heat and frost insulator for three years. I was in the union, I was an apprentice. Money was good, but I didn't know how to use that money the right way. I spent it on dumb things. I pretty much burnt that money, in a way. Figuratively speaking. Question number three, what are your favorite hobbies and interests outside of your YouTube? That's a good question. I would say I very much so love to hike, go on hiking trips. I like spending my time at a lake, at a river, mother nature. I enjoy meditation. I like being by myself sometimes. Although I do enjoy being with people, go on hikes, that kind of thing. But sometimes it's much needed to go on a trip by myself and to explore it myself and to learn myself. But I also do enjoy some fishing. I'm not saying I'm a professional fisher or anything like that. But I do enjoy fishing. I do enjoy traveling. I really like road trips. I miss camping. I want to get back into camping eventually. But yeah, I do enjoy traveling the world, going on hiking trips seeing different countries, different cities, 
as you watched my other videos, I went and explored Texas, parts such as Corpus Christi, Austin, Killeen, Dallas, beautiful places, beautiful cities. I mean, I even swam in Corpus Christi, and it was amazing just being out there, being active, being myself. I mean, it's just something that definitely made me feel stronger inside, and I want to keep pursuing that. So in one word, I'd say I love traveling. Whether it's driving or flying, doesn't matter. I love traveling. I just realized I also failed to mention, I am a writer, so I do enjoy writing about my experiences. For me, traveling goes hand to hand with writing screenplays, writing poems, songs, whatever it may be. But I'm big on writing stories, whether it's a screenplay or an actual short story or a book. That's another hobby of mine. The more we experience things, the more we have to write about something, the more we're inspired. The more I travel, the more I create a scenario in my mind. What if this happens or what if that happens? I start forming questions and I seek to find a resolution. And that's when the writing comes into place. I use my imagination and I channel my experiences and creativity into a story for viewers to enjoy, for readers to enjoy. So this one right here is actually an interesting question. It asks, how do you balance your personal life with your content creation schedule? Personally, this is how I balance it out. As I am a college student, I decided to go back to finish my arts associate's degree. I first work on my college homework. I study for my tests. I get my homework finished with, and then I go on to mess around with my TikTok, my YouTube. But, so my day might start off with two to three hours of working on school work, and then after that I take a break and kind of switch channels in a way. So I start working on my videos, I start drafting ideas. But I can't say I have a set schedule, but I'll tell you this, like whenever my day starts, I work on school work first. I work if I need to, so if I'm picking up a shift or a gig or whatever, I'll go work and then I'll start working on my videos. But a lot of the stuff that I film normally happens when I have the day off, when I have some spare time to do that. But all the editing and everything, I can kind of be flexible. I could work on it at night, I could work on it at 1 in the morning. It just depends. So I wouldn't say I have a set schedule, but my secret here is these basic note cards, index cards. I write down what I need to get done, and it's like a check sheet list. I check mark one thing, two thing, third thing. And that's how I get things done. But if I'm not check marking it, I need to reevaluate it and make it work somehow with my schedule. And my schedule is different every day. But like I said, the main thing is getting my schoolwork done first, and then I mess around with YouTube and TikTok. What challenges have you faced on your journey, and how did you overcome them? Well, that's a good one. Some of the challenges I've faced. I've definitely had a lot of criticism from friends and family. I've also had um, financial problems where I need money to go to some city or come up with gas money, whatever it may be, or have money to pay for a credit bill. And that's where the whole, you know, running a gig or making money on TikTok comes into place. It helps me pay for whatever I do, whatever creative journey I go through. But definitely money and is like the number one issue. Like, I'll be honest with you guys, the money's number one thing. But I don't allow that to stop me. If I can find a way to make that money and go on that trip, I will make find a way. And um, I've had people help me in the process. I've had people mysteriously sell me money on PayPal or Cash App. And I'm grateful for those people. And I'm blessed that I know them. But... And some of the other challenges may be that sometimes I don't have ideas and I have to channel a new idea. And it's not always easy to start fresh. It's not always easy to meet people, to collaborate with somebody. But I just keep going at it. I mean, I'm not gonna, I mean, I'll be honest. There are some days where you feel down, but I don't let that stop me. And I realize it's okay to feel like crap. Totally okay, you just gotta keep fighting. 
for what you want in life. And I believe if you tell the universe what you want, you'll eventually receive what you want. It just might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but it could be next month. It could be two years from now, five years from now. But the point is having the mindset that you're going to accomplish what you want to accomplish. It's like this. Um, I was supposed to make some music in Texas. Didn't work out. I won't get into all the specifics, but I'm just going to put it this way. My friend got hospitalized and the other friends that were supposed to make music with me kind of bailed on me. I could have turned around and drove back home, but I decided not to let that get in the way. I decided to just go with the flow, see where this road takes me. So I literally went and visited a few friends of mine from TikTok. And I got to explore different like hiking trails. I mean, I even went to the ocean and it was an amazing experience. Like I said, I could have just turned around and said, you know what, I'm gonna go home. This is a failure. So, you know, I failed. It's not going the way I wanted to go. And I mean, it wasn't. But I didn't let that stop me from continuing to explore and to learn something different, to see something different, and to meet different people. So at the same time, it was a challenge, and still is. I gotta pay off all this, all these credit cards and everything because of that trip. But it was definitely a learning experience. And um, I wanna keep going at this. And I'll find ways to get through all this. I firmly believe that. But mindset is number one. And if you feel like you can't overcome it, overcome an obstacle, I'm telling you, you need to delete that out of your mind and replace it with something else because you can do it if you say you can do it you can't do it if you don't think you can do it that's why I encourage you to think that you can do it because you will find a way somehow we do the universe it aligns with our body it aligns with our mind and whatever we ask of it it will manifest I firmly believe that big believer in manifestation So how I overcome all this, I have faith. Faith is the number one thing that keeps me moving forward. Faith in myself, faith in the divine, and manifestation. And a great tool to use is meditation. Meditate what you want. Can you share a behind the scenes look at your creative process and workspace? Well, it's nothing too crazy, nothing too shabby. But basically, I got a pen right here. I got a notepad. And I got like my whole little area. It's my room, little office. And I basically look at problems. Like when I'm driving or something, I look for a problem. Like in one of my videos, I noticed the streets were very messy and that people kept littering, dropping trash just out the window. And it honestly pissed me off. It really did. It made me think, why are people so lazy? It's one thing not to like clean your house or whatever, but a whole other thing to just litter the streets and make our communities look dirty. So it just made me think, if, if I don't do it, no one's going to do it. So I decided to go get some trash bags. Went with my brother, had him film me, and I just started picking up trash. So with anything really, if there's something missing, try to fill that void with something. Well, it's like with Texas. I drove around, I look on the map, not too far away from Corpus Christi. Let's go check it out. I haven't seen many videos about Corpus Christi. I mean, there probably are, but I never like thought about it. So I decided to fill that void. So pretty much stuff I've never experienced I go ahead and try to experience that and make a video about it or write about it. So there definitely may be a day when I want to go skydiving. I'll make a video about that. I totally will. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to fill that void because I need to experience it. And through experience, I'm going to document it. I'm going to write about it. I'm going to film it. It's going to happen. So anything that's missing in my life, I'm going to fill it that void and talk about it. 